What's up everybody great to see you back welcome back to exotic astrology if you are new to the channel then please consider subscribing to it because today's video is very interesting it is about the value of one moment every moment no 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 it's not on that it is on what is the value of associating with a great soul for one moment what is one moment one moment is one twelfth of a second if you take one second and you break it into 12 parts, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> but what, however they do it, that's the uh, moment, one by 12th of a second. So what happens when you associate with a great personality for one moment? And who is a great personality? One who has a title, Mahatma, Phule, Dube, no, 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 no none of these. Who is a great personality, first of all? All right. Before I begin, as I say always, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you should find him. <laughs> if you find him, then tell me also. I will also ask you how you find him. All right. And if you are new to the channel, then subscribe to it and click the like button at the end. And if you want a consultation, then don't hesitate. Go to my website Vedic Renaissance and mail me accordingly. So today's video is on the value of one moment association of a great soul. Before speaking I would say who is a great soul here. Lord Krishna says in the Gita Mahatmanastu maam partha daivim prakritima sritam pajanti ananya manaso Gyatva Bhuta Dimavyayam Mahatma Nastumam Partha Oh my dear Partha Who is Partha here? Partha is Arjun himself. So Lord Krishna is speaking the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. So Lord Krishna says Mahatma Nastumam Partha Oh my dear Partha Here is the definition of the word Mahatma. Daivim Prakritima Shritam One who takes shelter. Ashrita is shelter. Daivim Prakriti is divine nature, which is spiritual nature. Oh my dear Partha, one who takes shelter of my divine energy, which is my spiritual energy. Mahatmanas to Maam Partha, Daivim Prakritima Shritam Bhajanti Ananya Manaso He does my bhajan, which means he sings about my glories and my greatness eternally gyatva bhuta dimavyayam knowing me to be the beginning mid and end of it all causes of all that exists gyatva bhuta dimavyayam eternal <laughs> one who knows me to be eternal only he is a great personality one who is fully realized in spiritual wisdom only that person is a Mahatma not anybody who has a title of so and so all right so therefore what is the value of one moment's association of a great soul which means that what happens when you come in contact with a great personality for even one moment which is a twelfth of a second not for one second not for one day not for one year, not for one lifetime, one moment. All right. So listen to this till the end. So there was one story. Once there was a person who was very sinful. He had a lot of bad habits. Meat eating, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex. These four primary pillars of sin. He was very much obsessed with all these four. And then what happened? One day, the great sage Narad Muni appeared. <laughs> and Narad Muni told this person, why are you doing all these sinful activities? Why don't you give up all these sinful activities and you focus on uh, improving your spiritual life? That will give you ultimate happiness. These four sinful activities are not going to get you anywhere. They will only pull you down. But... Even if you can't give them up, start doing some spiritual activities. You can chant this mantra, you can do this, you can do that. Narad Muni felt pity on his condition. And then what happened? Narad Muni insisted him that please, my dear sir, 
chant the name of Lord Vishnu, chant the name of Hari. But this person was least interested. <laughs> like most of the people of this universe, right? <laughs> you go and tell them that chant the name of God, they'll be like, I don't have time. I have to watch Game of Thrones, right? How can I give time to God? I have to give time to Game of Thrones because I have to help them uh, suck my money, right? <laughs> I have to watch the cricket because I have to help them uh, get money. If I don't go and buy the ticket, how will they survive, right? God and all. It's not not required. We will do it later. When death comes, we will see. <laughs> and then, anyways, change the topic. <laughs> because if I go on that, it will be a rampant. All right. So then what happened? This person said to Narad Muni, I am sorry, my dear sir, I can't do what you are saying. I am so sorry. Maybe I will do it some other time, but not now. Typical excuse of a materialist. Can you do this now? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Now I just am getting married. I am in my honeymoon phase. I am seeing the stars with my wife. How can I uh, go, go, go towards God now? It's not possible, right? And then after marriage, no, 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 no. Now I have to have children. How can I go to God now? Later I will go. Then after they have children, then, oh, no, no, no. Now I need to purchase a home. Or now I need promotion. I have to become the CEO now. How can I go to God now? Later. And then when their wrinkles come out in the face, when their intelligence is bewildered, <laughs> when they are confused and they are lying in the deathbed, then also they are considering... Whose name should I write the property in? <laughs> Forget about spirituality. If you don't take it now, you are not going to take it. Do not give excuses. Be honest. All right. So this person denied Narad Muni. And then Narad Muni said to him, My dear sir, because of your terrible sins, you will suffer very badly. I am your well-wisher. I want that you be happy in this world. So do some uh, spiritual practices. But this person said, I'm so sorry, sir. I can't. And then he said to Narad Muni, but you are a great sage. You have come here. Please give me a blessing. <laughs> Narad Muni said, you foolish fellow, I'm about to give you. I'm ready to give you the biggest blessing. But you are not ready to accept that. You need some mundane benediction. Maybe a beautiful wife or some money or gold or some other materialistic uh, asset. But anyways, Narad Muni felt compassion on him. And then Narad Muni gave him a very big blessing. Narad Muni said, When you die, the god of death, Yamaraj, is going to come and take you to punish you. So then, ask one question to Yamaraj. <laughs> ask this question to Yamaraj. And then this person was like, Oh my God, please tell me what question should I ask? Will he free me if I ask him this question? He said, Don't worry, I am blessing you. If you ask this question, you will not go to hell. <laughs> so this person was like, Yeah, please tell me. So Narad Muni told him that when you meet Yamaraj, you tell him, I have one question. Please answer my question. Without that, I will not go to the hellish planets to suffer and to pay for my sins. First, you have to answer my question. Only then I will go. And then Narad Muni told him, ask Yamaraj this question that what is the value of associating with a great soul for one moment? Great soul, Samahatma, Sudullabha. Then this person said, okay, 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 I understood. And then Narad Muni left. And then what happened? He continued his sinful pursuits till the end of his life. And then the most dreaded hour of his last days arrived. And because of his piles of sins which he committed, he had a very bad death. And then finally, the god of death, Yamaraj, appeared. And Yamaraj asked, my dear sir, the list is very long. <laughs> you have to come with me now. And then you have to atone for all these sinful activities which you have done. And then this person said, he suddenly remembered Narad Muni's words. 
suddenly out of nowhere and then this person told mr yamraj i will come with you but i have a question you have to answer my question and only after that i will come with you and then yamraj said okay ask question what is that you want to know do you want to know which hellish planet you will go because in the bhagavatam fifth canto there is mention of 28 special hells there are many hellish planets but there are 28 special hells constructed for special people special category people <laughs> okay so then what happened this person asked to yamraj my question is what is the value of associating with a great soul for a moment yamraj was taken aback when he heard this yamraj said i don't know <laughs> what a question man what happens if you associate with a great soul for one moment i don't know the answer and then he said but i want the answer without this i will not go and then yamala thought maybe indra will know king of the heavens so he went to indra lok to amaravati where indra resides in the swarga loka and he went and asked to indra my dear uh, king of the heavens there's a question here there's a petition waiting here <laughs> I am not able to clear this. Please help me. And Indra said, "What do you want to know, my dear Yamraj?" He said, "What is the value of associating with a great soul for one moment?" And then Indra was like, "I have never heard of this question before. I don't know what happens." And then they were all confused, and they thought, "We have to approach another higher authority, who is higher than Indra. It's Lord Brahma himself." the creator so they decided we will go and ask lord brahma itself himself what is the answer to this question and then this sinner along with yamraj and indra went to lord brahma and then they asked my dear lord brahma there's a problem here we are not able to punish this person for his sins because he wants the answer of a question and then brahma ji asked what is that question then uh, yamraj said although i asked indra he could answer neither could i so we are expecting you to give an answer <laughs> and brahma ji as okay okay i will try my best ask what's the question then yamraj said he is asking me what is the value of associating with a great soul for one moment and then brahma ji was taken aback with his four heads he could not find the answer he could not fathom the reply to this question and he was thinking thinking he said i don't know so let's go to lord shiva and ask and then they went to kalash where lord shiva resides and then they asked the same question and even lord shiva said i don't know the answer and then lord shiva said There is only one person in this entire universe who can answer that and that is Lord Vishnu Hari himself. We have to go to Lord Vishnu and ask. Lord Narayana will reply to this question because he has only given that shloka. Mahatma anastu mam partha daivim prakritim ashritam bhajanti ananya manaso gyatva bhuta dimavyayam. So it is Lord Vishnu only who has to answer also. <laughs> what happens when you associate with the mahatma for a moment then what happened they decided we will go to the vaikuntha planets where lord vishnu resides and then this sinner yamraj indra brahma and shiva five people 1 2 3 4 5 all five of them went to vaikuntha and they So now what happened is the Vaikuntha has the there are nine gates like if you go to Sri Rangam in uh, South India you will see there are nine gates it's like a temple city of nine concentric circles there I have been there personally before I came to Germany I met I ensured that I visit Sri Rangam before coming because it's the headquarters of the Sri Vaishnav Sampradaya it's a very powerful place if you have not visited please go there you will love that place Anand Padmanabh Vishnu is sleeping in that uh, in that posture there Anand Padmanabh that is the name of the deity there Anyways coming back to the topic I sorry I love to deviate so then what happened is 
they entered vaikuntha they crossed all the nine gates and then what happened there was these doorkeepers of vaikuntha jay and vijay they saw that this big group of people are coming brahma shiva indra <laughs> yamaraj and the sinar is also there now they know all these four people they know brahma they know shiva they know indra they know yamaraj because they keep visiting very frequently <laughs> but they didn't know who this person is this sinar who had this question so then what happened is they saw oh lord shiva is coming now open the door let him go inside and then they saw oh lord brahma is next let him go and then, then they saw indra is there let him go and then they saw yamaraj is there okay let him also in and then they saw this sinar they were like man who is this person man <laughs> we have never seen him but because this person was going with the all these great personalities like shiva brahma indra and yamaraj so jay vijay did not interrupt they let him also go inside and then the sinner along with these four personalities he also went inside and then they reached where lord vishnu is residing and then they asked lord shiva taking the role of a leader he asked my dear lord sorry to disturb you but we have a question one who has taken shelter of your divine potency what happens if somebody associates with that person even for a moment what happens please answer this question has taken the entire universe and the authorities for a ride none of us are able to answer i think it's only you who can answer because you are the last authority here so then lord vishnu smiled and he said don't you remember what did i speak in the bhagavad gita <laughs> when i went down there as krishna i spoke the famous verse yad gatvana nivartante tad dhama paramam mama yad gatvana nivartante tad dhama paramam mama one who reaches my abode does not return back so now this sinner who had so many sins who was supposed to suffer in hell for how many years god knows now he has reached vaikuntha and as i have promised that one who reaches vaikuntha does not go back no more birth no more abcd no more engineering no more medical no more this no more that no more breakups no more marriage no more divorce no more death no birth no disease no old age everything is finished so that is the result of associating for one moment with a great soul because this sinner he associated with narad muni he was just talking with narad muni and the funny thing is the surprising thing is the best part is he was not even talking of spirituality he was just talking of some mundane topic like give me this benediction give me that so even without talking about spirituality when he was associating with a great soul like narad muni he was so much benefited his entire life got transformed and he reached the spiritual realm never to return back to this mundane realm ever 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 again that is it from my side so finally the conclusion is you go back to the spiritual world if you associate with a great soul for a moment so imagine if we associate frequently with great souls what can happen right the more we associate the sooner we will go <laughs> so please wherever you find great souls who are seeking the path of enlightenment or who are elevated or who are even trying to elevate themselves there's no difference between both of them please go and do some service to them as in hindi they say sadho ki seva kijiye gyaniyon ki na puja kijiye do do that and then you will attain all the perfection which is required just like this sinner this wretched sinner 
who committed so many sins. Everything was cleared. All files deleted. Bank account null. All right. That is it from my side. If you have any questions, queries or comments, then let me know in the comment section. And if you want a consultation, then the link to my website is there below. Vedic Renaissance, go there. And yes, if you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you have still not subscribed to the channel, then I don't know. <laughs> Probably you should consider subscribing so that you get updates from me on all these topics all right and of course if you like this video then share it with your family friends colleagues so that they can also understand what happens when you associate with great souls all right until next time with another video i hope you associate with great souls <laughs> bye bye see you